hands are small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm so happy to have you. Show my peers and subscribers. Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we're going to do a multiple of different discussion of challenge that I have had um, done in the past. I have written, written these down. And this video was actually supposed to be made, made and created back in February. However, with all the um, the negativity and being being targeted as somebody who's a fear monger, even though that's not exactly what I'm doing. I'm just telling you what I've seen in the card, the main tuition. And a lot of those things that I have been accused of have came to pass. And um, I have realized um, along my channel that there are always going to be people who are pointing fingers because they are scared. And I'm not here to scare you in any particular way or to make you in a state of fear. I am here to be able to provide you with the information and knowledge so that it, if it does come to pass, that you are not in a state of shock or in a state of despair even, where you are ready to take action or even better yet, meditate so it doesn't happen. A lot of people have said that, you know, all these psychic and YouTubers and tarot readers, we want this stuff to happen so that we can say that we are right. But my reputation I don't really care about because all I want is that we live in a peaceful and loving world. Regardless if my reputation is destroyed, i rather things not happen and only positive things happen. That's why I always tell you guys, even when I get bad things, that we can pray, well not pray, but we can meditate or even manifest that it doesn't happen. And that's what I'm doing in this video. There are some good parts, there are some bad parts, but I want you to go into this YouTube video with an open mind, with an open understanding in what I am about to tell you. Now, please do not jump to any conclusions. Um, I want you to really sit down and think it really all through. Uh, everything will be time stamped in the description below and it will be broken down into three different segments as this video includes three different challenges, a separate time periods and frames. Um, please, please, please keep an open mind. All comments will be turned off for this particular video. And just keep an open mind. I'm going to try to read it, and then I'm going to try to my very best to interpret it. However, the challenge, the open for interpretation, majority of it is metaphorical. Some of them is literal. So um, please keep that in mind, and don't jump to the conclusion because you know what you have heard about conspiracy theories or New World Order. These um, meanings in terms of the challenge have internal meaning that may not mean exactly what they are saying, but have some internal hint to them so please please i hope you guys like this video and get the like subscribe and the bell icon again i'm not trying to be among you um a lot of information and things that have happened this year have come to pass that i have written down but have never shown to you guys out of fear of being called that but now i have to change my trajectory for my youtube channel because i realized that i am the only thing holding back this youtube channel from even progressing forward which is why my channel has not grown in any particular way. I am the reason why it is blocked. There's no other blockages but me and my own thoughts and the potentiality that I'm always being misunderstood on this YouTube channel. So um, I'm going to try my best, and I do hope you guys like this video. Let's begin. So this video is being recorded on September 13, 2022 at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And here are some quick disclaimers on your screen now. Feel free to read them on your own time. Now, please keep in mind this video is just for entertainment purposes only and for education purposes only as well. And here are some other disclaimers just so I don't get in trouble. All right, let's just jump right into this, shall we? Okay, so maybe I might have to put a picture of me just so you guys can see me in the corner. All right, so this is the midterm election dream. So this is the first one that I had. I had this particular uh, midterm dream back in April 9th, 2022 at 8, 8.31 p.m. I was doing some sort of meditation and I was just in a, in a trance. And this is what happened. I was talking to somebody. And I don't know who exactly what I was talking to because I woke up and I only remembered exactly what they said. So I tried to write it down as fast as possible, which is why this particular dream in 
in the end in this first one is very short compared to the last two. So, uh, this was this was written down on April 9, 2022, at 8:31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, this was taking out the time of when I woke up. So, um, I don't know who I was talking to. I think I was talking to either Nancy Pelosi, I believe, but don't quote me on it. And I, she said, it's not about that quote party politics. It's about quote the state of the world, meaning that they know the Democrats can win because it's not about party politics this year. And so the reason why this is very important was that, first of all, this was around the time that the Democrats were doing very bad in the polls when it comes to the Republicans winning both the House and the Senate come this midterm. However, what this is also talking about is that party politics doesn't play a major role in this election. It is talking about the possibility that, you know, even though it is common for most incoming parties to lose their midterms, because the party in power. However, what it is talking about that there is a change in perspective, there is a major change going on. And that change isn't the status quo. That change is how the world is being done. Ukraine, we're talking about China, we're talking about uh, you know the inflation rate, economy, we're talking about abortion rights, women's rights, LGBT, gun rights, gun violence, um, Black Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter, you know, so all that type of stuff. All these things are becoming into focus, right? It is not party politics anymore. It's no longer about culture war. It's about where you want your world to go. Do you want it to go in a better way or do you want to go in a worse way? And this also comes down to climate change, which is why this plays a major role. It's telling you that don't count the Democrats out because it is telling you here the Democrats have a very strong possibility of winning this November. So don't count that out. Now, that dream took place on April 9th. 2022 at 8 31 p.m. Okay, that's the first one. Now we're gonna go to the second one. Uh, this one was June 1st, uh, 2022 at 101 a.m. This is when this was written down. Uh, this was a channeling that I got. Uh, yeah, I think it was a channeling. It might have been a dream, but I think it was a channeling. Yeah, it was a channeling. Okay, so this is something I channeled for a bit, and I was kind of scared to reveal it because. Um, again, I don't really believe a little bit of what it says. Like, for example, it says, um, bringing God back into schools. Um, I have made that very strongly on this YouTube channel that I, don't, I believe that both separation of church and state should be separated. And in this, um, this particular channel, and it talked about it. So I just want to make sure I put that out there so you don't think I'm one of those religious nutheads that believe that religion should be taught in school when it should be separated. So let's do the thing. Okay, so here we have, I'm gonna read this to you right now. It says the 2022 election will be a determining factor in this election, right? This is the year 2022, right? It's an angel number. The power of the moon shall compel those who never voted to vote. It is I who say the way the election goes. It is I who will determine the final outcome. My choice will not be revealed It is I who will determine the final outcome. My choice will not be revealed until the eclipse has ended. The power of the two-party system shall crash, then burn. The power invested in me shall go onward to the people. To stand up for righteousness and bring back the name of God in schools. And no, it is not I that I speak of religion. It is I who is talking about the dimensional portal that exists through me. Oh, okay. So, again, what I said. We'll talk about that in a minute. It is I, not a being or a thing, but a force not to be reckoned with. The consequences of this election will determine the very fate of this nation, far beyond the understanding of modern human. But they have wished a change in results that have already been decided. I say no to the future endeavors to overturn a result that I already decided. The future cannot and will not be changed, even with the events of altering of today's events from the future. I say no, it shall not change, as the eclipse shall hide these voters until the biggest shakeup Washington has ever seen since his teeth fell out centuries ago. The founding fathers are 
furious at what America has become. We are so proud, righteously. The generation continuing to plague on American society, falsifying a dream that never came true. The biggest lie America ever told was, and that was the end of the challenge. So that was the second channel in here. We're going to break this down now and try to uh, interpret it in the way that I believe that it was intended. Um, I did ask my guides and my spirit angels to really guide me along with the Akashic Records and my higher self uh, to be able to break this down in the most accurate way intended. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, so it says here the 2022 election will be a determinative factor in this election. The power of the moon shall compel those who never voted to vote. So what's really key here, it talks about the 2022 election being a determining factor within a style. It's talking about the angel number 2-2, two, two. it means duo, twice, right? The power of the moon shall compel those who never voted to vote. So the key word here is that people who never voted in any election is going to vote in this election cycle, right? That is really unheard of, right? We have about... We have about 330 million people in the United States. We have about only roughly about 100 million people voting on average in the United States. So that's a very low number compared to the percentage of adults that could, should, could and should be voting. Um, that is very important here. What's also important to note is that it talks about the moon and the moon cycle, right? It's talking about the full moon. And believe it or not, there is a moon cycle that is taking place right before the election, I believe on November 5th. If I am 100% correct, that's whenever the, whenever the election, midterm election date is, uh, it is taking place right before that. And um, this is very important because when this challenge came out, I don't follow astrology at all. So I didn't even know that there was a moon a cycle that was taking place after a 30 day cycle has ended. Uh, this is going to play a major role in this aspect. So it is talking about astrology is going to be key here in terms of determining who is going to win both the House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate, right? What I also noticed in this challenge, also talking about I a lot. It talks about I, the word I. And it says here, I, who say the way the election goes. It is I who will determine the final outcome. My choice will not be revealed until the clip has ended, right? So we're talking about new voters here. We're talking about a new moon cycle coming in, right? We're talking about people being hidden within the moon, right? You know, if you look at the tower card, the moon card in particular, it talks about the moon hiding things, right? And when it's reversed, it means it has been revealed, right? That is what that card is. In this time leading up to the midterm election, the results will be undecided. You won't even know who was going to win until election day because those people have not made their decision or their mind up until that very moment that they take that ballot and write who they want to win. Right? And when it says I, it says I who say the way the election goes. It's talking about the individual, right? The concept of the individual making that and determining the decision for themselves on who they believe will best be the best person to direct their country going forward, right? That is very important here. The power of the two-party system shall crash, then burn. Right, it's talking about the two-party system. Right, there might be a potentiality in the, sometimes in the future that you know, come this 2022 midterm election, it's talking about the start and the beginning of the two parties, both the Democrat and the Republican Party, starting to crumble. Right, you may see that with the Tea Party, right, in 2012 with Barack Obama. It is talking about the potentiality of the Republican Party slowly diverting from each other, slowly breaking apart. Right, and so are the Democrats, right? From the progressive to the conservative to the establishment, right? We're talking about here and now, we're talking about the potentiality that there's gonna be a major, major shakeup in the way the political party system works. Now it's not gonna be like the Democrats and progressives, you know, all these different parties as of right now. It is talking about it's gonna to start to begin this midterm election cycle and it's gonna progress until it starts to break up into smaller parties, right? The power invested in me shall go onward to the people, the stand up for righteousness, right? So the power invested in me, so the power within you, the energy within you, shall go on to the people. So for example, if you are a volunteer, when you're trying to bring people to the polls, your energy alone will bring people to the polls. It just has that type of aura, that strength, that magnetic aspect to you that will bring these people to the polls. Okay, it says, to stand up for righteousness and bring back the name of God in school, 
and it's and this is really important here because you know at first I remembered the word God and I was like I don't really agree with bringing God back into school. Then it followed with, and, and no, it is not I that I speak of religion. It is I who's talking about the dimensional portals that is just remain, right? And it's talking about here. It's talking about uh, the stand up for righteousness, do the right thing, even if nobody else agrees with you. For example, I talk about religion. Religion more grounded and standing. Society standards are uh, really based fully on um, their religion, really. However, what it is talking about to you is that if even if you don't agree with the religion moral standards, do what you feel. If you feel like in your heart that something feels right to you, do it, regardless if other people don't agree with you. But most of those people are not listening to their own moral compass. They're listening to the moral compass of what they were told was their moral compass. They're not listening to themselves. They're listening to other people tell them what the moral compass is. That is what it is talking about here. And it says, bring back the name of God in school. Now, I think this is really talking about here, it's not talking about the education system in particular. It is talking about the Supreme Court. It's talking about the religion, bringing back religion into government, right? And in this aspect, it's oftentimes depicted in God in school. And, you know, you have uh, a lot of you guys have heard me talk in the past about, you know, bringing back God, but not bringing back God in the way that you initially think he was. Uh, I asked, I would do my channel in the shower one day, and I tend to shower in the channel in the shower, you know, when I'm like, you know, washing my body or whatever. And what a time to really help me connect to the spiritual world and the spiritual realm. So I'm going to show you a little thing on my whiteboard here. And the whiteboard really talks about what God means, right? I asked my spirit guides in the past, what does God mean? What does God symbolize? Because there has to be more than just the word God. And this is what they gave me, right? This is what it means. Geomagnetic field, open in dimension, right? So what it is talking about here is that God really is broken down into the geomagnetic field, right? The energy field, protecting Earth, right? Opening dimension was telling me here that there's a multitude of different things happening going on during, throughout the channeling, right? So we're going to bring that right back here, right? So it's talking about here that no, it is not I that I speak of religion. It is I who is talking about the dimensional portals that is just for me. And what it is talking about here is the potentiality that we are now starting to shift into our reality. We're starting to divide, so to speak. We are starting to go into the 5D, the 4D, and the 3D, right? Some of you guys will be stuck in the 3D. Some of you guys will go into the 5D. And if you don't know the difference, that 5D is more of a compassionate, loving type of world where third-dimensional um, Earth is more of a darker type, mundane, very evil type of world that we are living in, right? That is what it's talking about here. It's talking about your moral compass. It's talking about your internal energy portal, right? That you can change your reality, right? For example, recently, I was doing a meditation recently, and it was a reality shift in meditation. Now, a lot of you guys might be familiar with the famous TV show called The Munchers, right? If I, well, wait, hold on, The Munchers. Oh my God, I can't pronounce it, but it's a Halloween type family drama, very similar to Adam Family. And uh, the guy, Fred, who plays um, the Frankenstein, I was looking at uh, people who but a part of the original cast for that TV show back in the 50s. Um, I wanted to see if any of them were still alive because I was just out of curiosity. And Fred back then, in my original reality, in which I was originally living in, well, the one I was using temporarily, um, he died in the 60s. However, when I looked him up recently, because I wanted to see what the munchers were playing on in terms of what uh, series and services and streaming platform that they were using, and I went back to the cast to kind of take a look. And Fred didn't die until the 90s. So after that sh uh, shift in reality meditation, I shift into a reality in which he lived longer, which is why a lot of the munchers had him in a movie and stuff like that. In the other reality in which I used to live in, didn't have a movie for the munchers because it stopped after season two. So I think that is very important to really see that we have the internal power and the internal compass to really shift reality and go into the world that we want to live in. And that's really important here. Could I bring that up for a very specific, specific reason? That you, reason because you are God. You have the energy of God. You are the creator. You are the manifester, right? You are able to shift your reality. If you don't like the world that you live in, you can change it. 
right? You are not stuck here, right? And this also plays into the multi um, dimensional theory, and I'll go more in depth at that in another period in time. And it says here, it is not I, not a being or a thing, but a force not to be reckoned with. So what it's just telling you here in terms of the, the dimensional portal, it's just telling you not to screw up at the dimensional portal. Now, a lot of you guys may not be familiar or even be aware of the fact that um, what's what scientists are currently right now building um, a particle accelerator. And the particle accelerator allows them to be able to tap into the spiritual world and kind of screw up with time. And be able to kind of revert the path, which is why it comes into play. Um, this is what it's talking about. Do not screw up or do not mess with the possibility of portal or dimensional time for your own internal gain or benefit, right? If you don't like something, you can shift out of it. Don't change it because you want to stay in that world that everything else serves you but that one particular thing, all right? And it's also talking about it's not an individual, it's not a person. The God is not a person, God is not an energy, he's just an energetic force. He is a portal between two different worlds, right? Or a multitude of different worlds, right? And it says here, the consequences of this election will determine the very fate of this nation, right? I talked about it, I talked about the, um, the bringing up of the two, uh, a multi-party system instead of a two-party system, right? The breaking up. We have the new possibility of a parliament. I talked about that. I talked about how the United States had two paths in the future, right? It will be determined come this 2024 election where America has to choose between dictatorship or dictatorship versus democracy, right? America never had a democracy. It always had an authoritarian democracy. In this aspect, America is going to a 250-year cycle of Pluto in return. And that is very important because Pluto being in America's birth chart for the first time since the 1776 means that America will have to determine its new identity, right? And this is what it is talking about here. The consequences of the 2022 election will be dramatic for the future, the next two years that will follow after 2022, right? It will determine the new trends. We will know the way the country is going come this November, okay? Far beyond the understanding of modern humans, for that they have wished to change the results that have already been decided. And this is really important here, because a lot of people are going to go back to 2020 and say, well, it's talking about 2020, isn't it? Because, you know, a lot of people, at least a small percentage of people, well, I don't know if you consider 74 million people a small percentage, but uh, the lesser majority here, believe that, you know, the results need to be changed in 2022, 2020. However, this is not what they're just talking about. It is talking about the 2022 midterms, where the results of the losing party want to change that results. Because remember what we said, we talked about the nation, the very fate of this nation being decided in this election. What it is talking about here is that there's going to be a repeat of 2020, but it's going to take place in 2022, which is why I said 2022 because it's a part two to the original 2020, right? You see why it says it's in the name, right? That's why it's very important here. And it says, I say no to the future endeavors to overturn the results that I already decided, right? It says I here, I, the individual, me, the voter, already decided my results, right? It says the future cannot and will not be changed. Even with the events of alternate of today's events, from the future, right? It talks about the possibility of them screwing up uh, time and trying to revert back to this very moment and change the results. It is telling you in advance that they're going to do whatever it takes to change the future by changing the past. But what it is telling you here that it cannot be done. It is not possible. Because remember, it's a dimensional portal and it says do not mess with that, right? It says here, I say no, it shall not change. As the eclipse shall hide these voters until the biggest time shake up. Okay, as the eclipse shall hide these voters until it's the biggest time for shake up Washington has ever seen since it teeth fell out centuries ago. Right, it's talking about the, uh, this is the metaphorical here um, that Washington, the actual the first president of the United States, had his teeth fall out, right? And he was replaced with slave teeth. However, what it is talking about here is that this is a connotation 
that those voters, that they're going to try to somehow sway those voters, or even eliminate them by all means possible. Again, this video is just for entertainment purposes only. But what it is talking about here is that they're going to try to change and make those people vote a different way than when which they had already voted. That's why it is very important here that in this channel and that it tells you to listen to your own moral compass. Don't listen to the media. Don't listen to anybody. Don't listen to YouTubers. Listen to your own moral compass. I'm not telling you how to vote, but I am telling you to listen to your stuff because you know better. You know what's best for your country. Do the right thing and do it for yourself. And if you do it for yourself, you'll be able to do it for everybody else. Do something remarkable. Listen to yourself. Don't listen to the media. Right? And this is what it's talking about here. It's telling that the clips show high these voters until the biggest shakeup Washington has ever seen since the Tea Fallon centuries ago. You, you as an individual, you as a voter, have the possibility of changing history, defying history as the normal status quo that every incumbent party since the 1900s have lost their midterm. You can change that if you want to. I won't tell you what to do, but it is telling you here that you have the possibility to do it. You have the strength to do it. The question is, will you do it? Well, that's entirely up to you. Right, but it's also telling you that you are protected by the moon. Your name is not going to be revealed. They won't even know who to target. That's the thing, that's the key. The moon is protecting you. So if you're afraid, don't be afraid. It says here, the founding fathers are furious at what America has become. But yet so proud righteously. Their generation continuing to plague on American society, falsifying a dream that never came true. The biggest lie America ever told was. And that's the thing here. That's just the key here, right? It's talking about how the founding fathers, the idea, the perception that women shouldn't vote, people who didn't own land couldn't vote, people who didn't have money couldn't vote, right? Those things infuriate the founding fathers, right? They even infuriated them so much that they believed that, you know, slaves only have their three-fifths of their own rights to vote, right? So every, every five um, former slaves who voted, only three of those would count. Well, actually, no. The three-fifth compromise was about, for every five people, they would be represented electorally, but only three of them uh, will only be equally represented. So the state wanted the population number, but didn't want to represent them. And that's what it's talking about. It's talking about here that the founding fathers had bad moral compass for the country. And so that is why they are furious at what America has become. But they're also happy righteously. But the one of the things that they are happy about is the lie being told that if you come here and you work for us, you can live the best life that you can live. But let's be real here. Look around you. You see people being poor. People barely living above poverty. That is the American dream? I don't think so. That is why this comes into play. So that is the second channel, and here's the last one. So this one took place about six days. Well, hold on. Yeah, so this was June 10th, June 16th, and this was what? This The one I just did to you was June, June 1st. So the one that came after actually was a follow-up of the original one. So the one I just gave you, this is a follow to that one. Okay? This was um, done on June 16, 2022 at 1.30 a.m. That's when I officially completed writing everything down. But this is when I would channel a channel from June 16, 2022 at 1.08 a.m. to 1.18 a.m. in Eastern Standard Time. So this, again, was June 16, 2022. Right? Now, you see how we talk about the biggest lie America ever told was? But right? it followed into this. Right now... Keep in mind that I didn't, I forgot that I did that channeling because when I do my channeling, I'm not me eternally. I am a, the highest version of myself channeling. This one in this aspect is um, the follow to that one, but I didn't realize that until after I started going through all my channeling to see what videos I wanted to do. This is when I realized that the two were connected and it just happened to be 15 days apart. So anyway, that's important here. So also, it's really important here that I really want to quickly state here before we do read the last channeling is that it's important that you understand that, you know, I don't want uh, the comment section is shut down. I did not allow comments for this particular video because I know how some of you guys are going to react. Some of you guys didn't react. Oh, my God, the Antichrist is coming. Oh, my God, my religion, blah, blah, blah. Stop. 
that is not what this is talking about, okay? I was talking to somebody else, and we were brainstorming, and it just happened to be that I understood what it meant, right? It wasn't talking literally. It was talking metaphorically. So please keep that in mind that it's not talking about the Antichrist here. It is using that as a medical, metaphorical playground for me to be able to accurately interpret what it is actually talking about. So please keep that in mind. Don't go crazy. Just relax, be in a calm state, and just breathe, okay? Let's, let's begin. Okay, so again, June 16, 2022 at 108 a.m. to 118 a.m. time, okay? And um, we're going to kind of scroll down here um, just so that I can be able to read it a lot easier, just to make it easier for me. Okay, the lie. You can be anything that you want to be when you grow up, right? That's the lie that America told you, right? One of the many biggest lies America ever told was to a child is not other than you could be anything you want to be when you grow up. And that lie could have been further from the truth. No, in this world, you cannot be what you want. If you want to be an astronaut, people at NASA will pick a white male first over any other demographic. If you wanted to be president, you couldn't because you are a woman. And people will say you're too emotional. And yes, these are all possible. The lies in the fact that they didn't tell you about the hardship that you will face to get there. Most people will never make it. So this prompts people to become, this prompts hate to be brewed internally as the child grows up, realizing that each thing that their parents told them as kids were a lie, forcing their kids to have trust issues, making them feel alone in a world in which they didn't ask to be born into. No one ever recovers from it. Each person has their own methods on how they handle it. Some handle it great, some handle it average, and other handle it poorly. This is why I start the channel. Hate is formed and created by a lie, a false illusion or a narrative that provides the listener with a false sense of security. And when that false sense of security is threatened or better yet shattered, the individual breaks. Every part of them shatters into small, tiny fragments, almost impossible to recover from. In the eyes of the beholder of such a lie, Lies someone thinking that they are protecting or shielding their child from the harsh reality, but in, but in rest respect, they are actually hurting that child, setting him or her or they up for automatic failure. The creation of hate is within the form of manifestation. We alone created it with our own very words and lies. The truth is not being honest with your child causes major issues. It's why we have schools. School shooters, serial killers, robbers, alcoholics, drug abusers, dictators, and more. The thing is about this lie that even though it may not affect you personally, doesn't mean it doesn't you don't get to invalidate someone else's experiences because you weren't affected the same way. Everyone responds to everything differently. Some choose to be good, some choose to do bad, but that is them trying to find that shattered sense of security, but they won't ever find it because it was never there to begin with. Moral of the story is, there is no good or evil, just human. No matter how bad the acts are in the end, they're the only acting the way that they know how. Start telling the children the truth and stop lying to them. It's time that you're honest for once. And this is my higher self speaking. So it turns out that I um, accidentally added the wrong channeling, but regardless, this is playing a key role here because it does play into the idea and the concept here the biggest lie America ever told was. And I find this to be very straightforward. I don't think there needs to be any sort of interpretations here. Um, I think it is very well handled. I think it's, the message really gets out quickly. I think it is well put together. I don't think I really need to go further with this particular one. But I am going to lose you to Vatican one. I'm going to see where my phone is. And I am going to put that in right now so that we can read it. I don't know why it wasn't in here, so I do apologize to you guys in advance. Now, please keep in mind that uh, this would also happen to be another channeling, and you can see that here. Oh, you can't see on the screen. Hold on a second. Okay, so if you look here, we see here June 10th, 2022 at 2.13 p.m. 
right? This was a challenge. So you guys know that that's when I wrote it down. So this was back in June. I'm going to copy and paste this into uh, the Google Doc, and we'll be able to read it and interpret it. All right, so, so this one, again, like I told you guys in the past, this is talking about the religion, uh, the Antichrist type of stuff. Please, again, this is my fork where it's not talking literally, literal. Uh, there are some aspects that are literal, and I'll tell you about what those are in a moment. So just keep in mind, just keep an open mind here. Don't be in a state of fear, because it's not intended to be fearful. I will interpret it after. All right, let's go. So it says here, this was recorded on June 10th, 2022 at 2 13 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, this is when this was written down and taken. This would also happen to be right when I was watched on January 6th. Uh, the Vatican, something going on in the Vatican, almost like something similar to an attack of some sort. Could even be massive protests and potentially a swarming of the cathedral. It may even be major news that everyone knew but never been confirmed, and that the faith has been tarnished. It has something to do with Jeffrey E. and the whole pedo ring. Watch for the Vatican. News is going to break and people are going to go for stuck, especially when they find out that they've been worshipping a false god. Then at this moment, they will understand the true meaning of, quote, do not use God's name in vain. What makes these people go crazy are similar to the likes of trust issues, anger due to being lied to, and feeling scared of where to go from here. This is why I start channeling, right? The biggest news of all is when they find out that their belief, the belief that they grew up with, was a lie. And it was all about manifesting an entity which does not exist in our reality yet. This is why I go into full, complete channeling now. The belief in our God of our time, the God of which was promised to save us, never came. So that I, so that he does not exist, but it is within I, so I say he shall come at a time no one is expecting. It is I that when I come, the ground shall tremble, and the world as you know it shall collapse. And the false illusion that I created for you starts to fade, uncover the reality in which you live. They called me the massive illusion and deception, and yet this is to be my greatest show yet. I shall not reveal myself until the year 3000, but I may come sooner, but you will not know, for that I will walk amongst you, hidden within the deepest shadow of the earth. But when my time comes, you shall hear me roar, and for that I have come for when you called me. For when you believed in me, that each soul has been given to me a trade one may stay. In turn, in turn for external salvation, that I will use these souls, the energy, to lift me out of dormancy. I shall come, expect me, I am coming. May the portal be opened by all of you. And when you do that, I shall step into your world and wreak havoc, the lights of which you've never seen. That is the channeling. Right now, for some of you guys who are religious and was in a religious nation who are very uh pro religion, and you may have been taught about the antichrist and stuff in this aspect, and so there are some similarities here in terms of that regard. However, again, like I said, this is um not meant to be taken literally, and I'll go into that right now on why that is. So let's go, let's start breaking this down, okay? The Vatican, something going on in the Vatican. Almost like something similar to an attack of some sort. There may be massive protests and potentially swarming of the cathedral. There may even be major news that everyone knew but never been confirmed, and the faith has been tarnished. Right? What it is talking about here is talking about. So the Vatican represents, really, in this aspect, the Vatican represents an institution, a governmental building, um, a representation of someone's faith. Right, a religion, a belief is something. There's gonna be an attack, right, on something. It could even be um, a royal family member. It could even be a royal family, right? Because remember, the Vatican is a king. The Pope is the king in the Vatican, right? And in this aspect, this is what this is talking about here. It's talking about the fact that there is a higher being, people who look up to, but it's enclosed within the building. So this symbolism is talking about a building. Right, but it's all about you. So there's a multitude of different meanings here. It's talking about, you know, the religion act, right? They're talking about 
the um the royal family you know any royal family talking about your belief system right that building represents your belief right metaphorically speaking right so when someone is attacking your belief system internally whether that is religion whether that is internally whether that is spirituality whether that means awakening whatever that is it was talking about here that there can be an attack of some sort and it could be protests. And now this, I feel like there's going to be more literal speaking in this aspect, that there's going to be literal massive protests and potentially swarming into cathedral because, you know, there could potentially be a, a vote for the new Pope soon with Pope Francis with that resigning or even sadly passing away. So it's, there's a possibility that there could be a Pope there. Um, I apparently I found out that they get voted in by the people. Don't quote me on that. But if that is true, then there's a potentiality that there might be uh, people getting really upset and trying to do something with the Vatican. So that's the literal aspect in that aspect here. But also talking about the, the connection, the ring, the, uh, the connection between dark people, dark energy, dark being, dark emotion, right? So they use Jeffrey E, where we all know who that is, and the pedo ring, and it's talking about the ring here, right? Being enclosed and not being able to escape, right? And it's talking about here all these people having connections with one another, right? Your faith has been tarnished. A lot of people's belief system has been destroyed. Think about 2020. How many people have gone to the spiritual side, right? That is what it's really talking about here. Luke is going to break and people are going to go for jerk. It's, right? That is very important in here because people go crazy when things that are... Um, unfamiliar they seem to go really 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 crazy because their emotions take the best of them and they act in a way that is very hard to really uh pinpoint or even predict what they're going to do next right you oftentimes see this with religion right when people do some like women for example you know baking maybe making soup for example back then in the 1600s they were called wishes right and they would have the wish trial the salem witch trial right People call them the devil or the work of the demon because they didn't understand that the person was making it was just making soup, right? That is the idea. You even see this in today's world, right? You see gay people, for example, right? We have people who are up there preaching and they say, well, gay people are the work of the devil. People will be willing to label something, whatever they don't feel comfortable or even understand 100%, they label it as the work of the devil, right? And that's really what's key here. Is that people are going to go berserk because they're going to start blaming people and start pinpointing, kind of accusing people the same way that it was very similar to the Salem witch trials, where people were forced to accuse because someone else felt uncomfortable, someone wanted to accuse somebody, right? The way the Trump does it, right? Especially when they find out they've been worshiping a false god. So now, in terms of this thing right here, now God means energy, right? We're also worshiping a false energy, right? Energy source. A lot of you guys know that I talk about this in the past, that people are energetically human, right? We are, have energy. We are energetic human, right? We hold energy. We leave energetic residue, right? And God in this aspect, the false God, it means the false light, the false interpretation, the false energy, false being. In this aspect here, what are we talking about here? Worshiping a false God. It is not talking about none other than worshiping a false person, a false person, um, Somebody who is in the higher up, so like a hero, right? Think about it. how many times have people had correctly compared Trump to Jesus as one of those people who will come down to save us, right? That is what it's talking about here. Worshiping a false god, putting your hero onto somebody else because you don't realize that you are a god yourself. You are God, right? But people can sometimes forget that they are and they look outward for help. Right? Those people are false gods. They are not your God. You are your God, and that is it. Then at this moment, they will understand the true meaning of do not use God's name in vain. Now, a lot of you guys have been told, uh, for some of you guys who are Christians here, uh, a lot of you guys have been told using God's name, like when you would say, oh my God, I can't believe this, blah, blah, blah. People will often associate, don't use God's name in vain. That's not what that means. Using God's name in vain is technically like more of the word saying that, let's say, for example, you know, Biden, right? You put words in Biden's mouth that he didn't say, but you say that he said them, right? Same thing. You see this in the church. You even see this in 1940, but right? right now with, um, you know, the original Bible talking about uh, pedophile, that those, those people are going to hell, but then it was um, taken out and it was replaced with homosexual, 
right? That was not the original interpretation, right? So you are using God's name in vain by misinterpreting or even um, lying to people, telling them this is what he said, this is what he believes, right? This is what was being taught and preached and telling people about that and saying that this is the word of God when it's really it's not. So using God's name in vain is justifying a reason by using God as your sole reason. For example, abortion, right? People say, well, I'm pro-life because, you know, that's not what my God would have wanted. Last time I checked, they were mass murdering babies in uh, during the Bible, right? Abortion was a thing, but that wasn't technically abortion. It was something else. But the idea, the concept here is that um, it even happened during Jesus' time because they were trying to find Jesus and they were trying to kill him. Right. And so in this aspect here, what it is talking about here is talking about understanding do not use God's name as the reason for an action that you've taken. So if for example, you know, you kill somebody, right? You say, Well, God wanted me to do that because I was saving the world. I was saving the world. You didn't do anything, you just kill somebody, and you're using God as a justification for an action in which you've taken. Right? And I do want to backtrack on um, the abortion thing. Um, I don't think I was 100% right in terms of my interpretation. I'm using that um, example. So I just want to make sure I put that out there that I am. I do apologize in advance. I don't think my interpretation of that particular thing was correct. So I am going to withdraw that statement. Okay, so let's go back to the, uh, the next part of it. It says here, at this moment, they will understand the true meaning of God. Do not use God's name in vain. What makes these people go crazy or similar to the likes of trust issue? Anger due to being lied to and the feeling of scared of where to go from here, right? This is what makes people start blaming things, start associating things with the demon or the devil or Satan or stuff like that, right? This is what I'm talking about here. If you want to control somebody, this is how you have to make them feel. You have to make them feel very scared, make them have trust issues, make them feel angry for being lied to and feeling scared of where to go from here. If you were to take these classification and put them against the Republican Party, you will see all of them check this box. That is what it's talking about here. If you want to control people, all you need to do is check these three boxes and you got them right where you need them. Right? <clears throat> it says here, the biggest news of all is when they find out that their belief, the belief that they grew up with, was a lie and was all about manifesting and teaching what doesn't exist in our reality yet. This is talking about in this particular line here, it's talking about um, it's going back to Donald Trump in this particular aspect here. It's talking about the biggest news of all is when they find out that their God, their, their belief, belief system, Trump is their God in this aspect. The belief that they grew up with him, the idea that they told themselves in their head, the idea that they had in their head wasn't reality. But instead manifesting an entity which doesn't exist in our reality yet. It's talking about manifesting a President Trump winning a second term. Right, that is what it's talking about here. Manifesting something in your head that is not actually here. Giving yourself a false illusion. Right? Being in a reality in which it's not real. That's I'm channeling from intuition. So when I interpret this, I'm channeling from inter, into intuition. I apologize. And there are examples here that this is talking about and yes, and what's happening in this world right now to be able to really allow you to understand what's happening. This is not talking about religion, it's not talking about the Antichrist. Is, I am literally giving you examples as I interpret this. It is talking about politics. This is a particular thing that's talking about politics with a little hint of the Vatican, but Vatican is also tied to politics. But in this particular interpretation, channeling, this is all about politics here. This is talking about Donald Trump and all other political um, party members who are uh, appreciating false things or even lying to people or trying to misguide them by giving a false illusion. This is what this is talking about here. But it's using uh, the Antichrist as uh, a metaphorical term of meaning. Right? It says here, this belief in the God of our time, the God of which was promised to save us never came. Believe it now. Replace God with Trump. The belief in the Trump of our time, the Trump of which was promised to save us never came. Right, Trump said he was going to help the country. He didn't do it. Right, he didn't help the country. He made it worse. But that I said, right? Remember I talked about the individual I? It comes up here again. Right, it says, but that I, that he does not exist. But it's with an I. That I say he shall come at a time no one is expecting. Right, we're talking about here people manifesting an entity of making Donald Trump president. Right, making somebody 
come into this reality as president, right? And what's it just talking about here? That's when I, so this is anger. You can feel this here. This is a lot of anger here. And this is somebody who is, I'm channeling. I think I might've been channeling for somebody who was trying to get Trump in the White House. Again, right? This is within I. That I say it'll sort of come at a time no one's expecting. It's possible. It's theoretically possible that this could happen. It is I that when I come, the ground shall tremble and the world, as you know, it shall collapse. Right? It's possible that in California starts to um, wake up. Not wake up in a way that you would think, but maybe start to experience the earthquake. So it might coincide with the announcement of Donald Trump making an announcement to the world. But I do feel like this particular channeling not only talks about Donald Trump, but it talks about a multitude of different things. It's metaphorical. It can be placed in almost any aspect, right? Because this is um, this channel in particular is allowed and is able to be so flexible, it's able to fit into the mold and be able to allow you to understand and step into the shoes of somebody who's very hateful and to under, really understand what the idea and where the perception come from. This is what it's talking about here. Right? <clears throat> and it says, uh, yeah, the world that you know it shall collapse. And the false illusion that I created for you starts to fade. I'm covering the reality in which you live. This is very important here because it talks about awakening, spirituality. It's talking about the delusion coming off of you. Those facade, the from facade that you've been given to you, it starts to fade away. And you start to see the people for what you thought they were, for who they really are. Right? The awakening, the spirituality is bringing that part of them into perspective. It's giving them the mess, giving them themselves a sense of individ, individualism, being able to give them the ability to think for themselves again, right? And they've been so puppeteered that they've been in, unable to think for themselves, right? It's so important that in this particular video, it talks about individualism, thinking for yourself and don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. That's very important why this shows up. It seems to be the narrative here in the channeling. They called me the master of illusion and deception, and yet this should be my greatest show yet. I shall not reveal myself until the year 3000, but I may come sooner, but you will not know that I will walk among you, hidden within the deepest shadow of the earth. This is energy, right? But it's also talking about 3000, and I keep keep thinking, again, guys, this is just for entertainment purposes only, right? But I keep thinking of the year 3000, right? I keep seeing a nuclear arm, right? Which is why it will be hidden inside of Earth, right? And 3000 will be the name for that particular missile or thing, right? The illusion and deception, right? What it is talking about here is talking about trouble, the ground breaking up. It's possible it's talking about a nuclear strike or something, something of severe damage, right? But I may come sooner, but you fool. But you will not know, for that I will walk amongst you, hidden within the deepest shell of the earth. But when my time comes, you shall hear me roar, for that I have come from when you called me. And, you know, I was talking to somebody in the past, and her name was Sharon, and she was a psychic as well. And we were talking about this particular thing. Now, keep in mind, she is very extremely religious. And we found this to be really quite interesting. At first, she thought it was the, um, you know, the Antichrist and stuff like that. But then we later end up talking about a, a Bible verse that she got from um, her spirit guides and whatnot. And the Bible verse seemed to closely match what I have been talking about in this channel. And I don't remember quite exactly what it said, but it talked about the time in which we are living, are living in right now in the United States where all these politicians and stuff like that. But what it is talking about here is the key word raw. Right, I keep going back to Egypt, the time in Egypt, right? America is the Babylonian state, so to speak. And what it's talking about here is the way of reawakening our government, right? But when I hear raw, I don't think of Egypt. I see the spear neck. But what really brings me, really brings me into focus here is the Holy Roman Empire, when they had the, the lion on their flag with the Pope at the center, Right, it's very interesting that the Vatican shows up here, but so does the Holy Roman Empire, the H E R, for example. 
HRE. That's what it's called. Sorry. But I may come sooner, but you will not know, for I will walk amongst you, hidden within the deepest shadow of the earth. Or we talk about a building, a foundation, right? Hiding things. Right? Because it has a meaning here. It's your belief system. It's your identity. It's who you are. You're hiding that darkest shadow of yourself, right? There's, there's no reason to be afraid of what I am telling you because this is talking about the shadow self, right? In order to realize that you have good in the world, you must have the darkness because the darkness will bring out the good and the good will bring out the darkness, right? You need the equilibrium. You need the harmony. <clears throat> but when my time comes, well, hold on. But when my time comes, you shall hear me roar, for that I have come, for when you called me, for when you believed in me, for that each soul has been given to me a trade one may stay, in a turn for external salvation. Right? So people have given up their life, their soul, to this belief system, their understanding, their knowledge of what the world and what they've been taught or be told. Right? What it's talking about here is talking about the fact that you give yourself to this person, this entity, this belief system, all of you, but there's nothing can give it back to you, right? For example, you live in America, right? In order for you to be able to have the right to get a loan and stuff like that, you must give your life to the state. Or you must enroll in the military, right? You traded your soul for external protection. You stayed, you protected yourself where you gave you up. You put you, you sold yourself away for simple protections. That is what this is talking about here. It's talking about here that you sold your own self. You gave yourself away and you didn't value yourself enough to protect it. Right? And it says, But I will use these souls, these energies to lift me out of dormancy. And I shall come. Expect me. I am coming. Right? It's talking about being lifted out of dormancy. Right, we're talking about war, we're talking about nuclear missiles, stuff like that, politician, you know, corruption going on, right? But it's also talking about you selling yourself to the military. And it's interesting that I mentioned the military because it's possible that this is talking about and hinting towards a potentiality that politicians in the highest realm are going to try to start a war. Right? That's why we have the attack in the Vatican and stuff like that, that they may start to bring world war. Right, because if you think about World War II, how it happened since 1945, right? But it says being lifted out of dormancy, right? The potentiality of a world war hasn't really happened. The last time it became a potentiality was in 1960 and as recently as this year, right? I find that to be really interesting that it coincides with the channel in itself. But it says here, I shall come, expect me, I am coming. May the portals be opened by all of you. And when you do that, I shall step into your world and wreak havoc, the lights of which you never seen. Right? Remember when I talk about you guys are God and that God is in you, and so you are the manifestation, you are the creator, and God is, did you have magnetic fields opening the dimension? You have the ability to shift reality. You have the ability to change your world, to change your outcome, change your perspective in the world. That is what this is talking about here. It's talking about here that you alone have the ability to do it. You alone have the ability to change this outcome. You don't have to head toward the world's war. For God's sake, you don't even have to be in this reality to be able to experience it. You can shift realities into a world in which you don't even have to be in a world's war, that you don't have to experience a world's war. That is what it's talking about here. It's that telling you that you have the power, that you have the power to control your own destiny. You have the power to control your own world, your story. Don't give up your life to somebody else. Don't minimize, don't change you because someone else tells you to. Don't fixate or change your moral grounding or standing because someone tells you to or someone teaches you, even at an early age. Yes, you could be young and you could tell me that your parents taught you to at a young age. Yes, but that is not an excuse. Because you are older, you are an adult now. You can make those decisions yourself. You can make the belief that you want. Because you innately will have the only ability to choose your own destiny. So choose the right one for you. Trust me. There is a reason why we have people um, on my YouTube channel where I dominate. I'm not kidding. I dominate with women, right? I have 65 and older. 
a majority of you guys are 65 and older, and 100% of you are women, and if not, maybe just give or take a few minor percentage, but majority of you are women. By a big margin, not by a small margin, but by a huge margin, and you just have to be beyond the 65 age range. So to put all this in perspective here, the reason why my channel is meant to be here, to be able to help you guys get out of the old ways of thinking and create your own reality. Step into your world. Step into your reality. Create the world that you want to be in. If you don't believe in a belief in what you grew up in, no one is telling you that it's over. But what I am telling you is that you have every right to create the world that you want to be in. If you're not happy in the world in which you live in, you can shift the reality into a new one. Right? i always be here to help you. But you need to be there for you. Because I can only do so much. I can only give you the information. You have to choose what you want to do with it. And that's the end of today's reading. Well, channeling, really. I hope you guys like today's video. Don't get to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And let me know in the comments section below what you think of today's video. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.